What's up guys, it's your boy Remedy here, back again with a brand new video, and Modern Warfare is out. Yes, today is the day that is out. I managed to get the game a little bit early, and you already know what we're gonna do. We are going to make a loadout video. We're gonna make a class setup video on the most aggressive sniping classes that you can make. I'm gonna showcase three different weapons here. It's gonna be the AX50, the car, and the lever, which is called the MK12 in this game. But let's just get right into it. Before we start anything, I'm gonna show you guys all of the other things besides the primary weapon and all the attachments. So I think that the best class setup for any of these guns, the secondary is gonna be the Deagle. This thing is a one shot to the head, pretty much two shot to the body at any enemy. So when it comes to perks, I personally feel like that quick fix will be the best uh, first perk because especially if you're pushing up a lot, you're gonna wanna make sure that your health is always high. For this, if you kill a person, your health regeneration goes up a lot quicker. So, you know, if you're in those tight situations and you just wanna get that healing off very quick, this is the thing for you. When it comes to your second perk, um, I don't know. I didn't really find anything better than Ghost. Ghost is very good because I feel like a lot of people will be getting UAVs in this game. If you want streaks, maybe go hardline, but I know a lot of you snipers don't really care about those attack streaks or whatever. So I think that Ghost is going to be the best option for you guys. And for the last perk, I think that Battle Hardened is honestly the best. These other ones, again, I just can't see people using too much. Maybe Tractor if you really care about seeing people's footsteps. But this one right here is going to reduce enemy flashes. So you're not just going to get hit from behind by a flash and not be able to see for 10 seconds. This thing is probably going to reduce that by maybe half maybe a third of the time but it's still going to help a ton lethal is set to whatever you want i think that the frag that's what i'm going to be using i know some people may like a semtex or whatever but for the tactical i think that all of you guys should be using a stim who cares about a flat maybe you want to use a stun maybe you want to use a stun but the stim especially for aggressive sniping you're going to want to heal up fast this is literally going to go perfect with the first perk quick fix and the tactical stim shot together you're going to be healing up super fast like it's going to be as if there's no blood on your screen so when it comes to the AX50, you're going to want to completely deck this boy out just because the gun is so slow in general is that if you don't add anything, there's literally no point of even rushing with this gun. You might as well just sit in the back of the map. For any gun that I show you in this video, we're not going to add anything here for the muzzle. We don't care if people see the flash on the gun. Who cares? You're going to be pushing up and you better be killing them. There's no point. The biggest thing on this gun that you're going to want to add, the biggest thing is going to be this right here, the 17.0 uh, inch factory barrel. This is going to be the shortest barrel in the game. And as you can see, the pros is going to be aimed down sight speed and movement speed the movement speed isn't that big of a deal but the aim down sight speed is the biggest thing that a lot of people were complaining about during the beta but it's finally here so even though it removes some accuracy range and control the mobility just how fast you can zoom in is the biggest thing for any sniper trying to push up quickly you don't need anything for a laser or optic but you do want to stock you're going to see that for a lot of these attachments right here all of them for the pros they're going to be able to aim down uh, sight speed very good pretty much all the pros of all these guns are going to be aimed down sight speed go to the bottom right the the perk that you're going to want on all of these weapons as well is going to be sleight of hand. You know, you always want to reload fast. You're going to get in those tight situations where you just need those extra bullets. Just always put on sleight of hand. There's really nothing else that really matters. Maybe FMJ, but I think for best aggressive, it's going to be sleight of hand. So the third option on the bottom, you're going to want to put on some stippled grip tape. It's going to be the very bottom option. Again, the pros of this is going to be aim down sight speed and also sprint to fire speed. So basically, if you're sprinting and you see somebody, you could instantly bring your gun up a lot faster than if you had anything else. These other ones, recoil control, who cares? Aiming stability, you know, that's all right, but aiming, walking, steadiness. If you're like walking and hard scoping, this really isn't the video for you. You're going to want this right here. It does lower aiming stability a little bit, but if you're going to be quick scoping, this is it. And for the last thing, this is going to be the thing that is up to you. Yes, it's going to make it a very little bit slower, but it's not even going to be that much of a deal, uh, especially if you play the beta. But personally, I like to add extended mags. I know a lot of you snipers want to keep going on, you know, hit the biggest clip possible. And if you have to reload after you miss a couple shots, or if you already hit all five of your shots, you're going to want those extra two bullets. So put this on, and that's going to be five equipped things on your weapon. Whenever you zoom in with the AX50 with no attachments, it's going to be a 0.39 second zoom in speed in comparison to the AX50 with attachments, which is 0.27 seconds. That's pretty much a third of the time cut off just by adding those attachments in this video. When it comes to reloading though, the time is the exact same, 3.06 seconds, which may seem like a long time, but honestly, it's not even too bad, especially if you have extended mags, you're not going to be needing to reload too often. The next weapon is going to be the Car 98K. So this isn't under the sniper rifles, but this is going to be underneath the marksman rifles. Also the same with the MK2. I think that I said MK12 at the beginning of the video, but I meant MK2. So for this Car 98, your attachments, you're also going to want five attachments on the gun. Again, nothing for muzzle, nothing for laser, nothing for underbarrel. So for this barrel, 
barrel, a lot of people are going to probably say, oh, you don't need a barrel because look, it reduces some of your in down sight speed. But look how much more range it gives you and look how much more accuracy it gives you. With this gun not being an actual sniper, with it being a marksman, it's going to be a little bit weaker. So you're definitely going to want to add something that uh, helps you get that damage over, you know, a bigger distance. So I think that this is definitely the attachment to go with. The optic, this originally comes with no sight at all. You guys can see right here, originally it looks like this with no scope. It might be good, but I do think that having the normal sniper scope will be the best as you guys will see in the upcoming gameplay. For your stock, of course you want to stock again. This is going to help with your aim down sight speed and it's going to make up a little bit for this barrel that you have over here. It does again help with range and helps with accuracy quite a bit. In the bottom right, your perk again, sleight of hand, no question about it. And in the bottom middle, you're going to want stippled grip tape again, pretty much for all these snipers. If it gives you the option to use stippled grip tape, you might as well use it. Look how much more range that gives you. Look how much more accuracy it gives you. And also aim down sight speed. That's another big thing. All of these classes that I'm going to be showing you today are going to help with their aim down sight speed because that's what you want as a quick scoper. So the gun without attachments, whenever you zoom in, is at 0.24 seconds. But even with attachments, it's still only 0.22 seconds. It's a little bit quicker, but not even by much. But this is where the big difference comes into play. Without attachments, the reload speed is 2.55 seconds. And with attachments, it's going to be 2.17, which is a lot faster, about half a second faster than it without the perks. And last but not least, we have the MK2 carbine. Again, I think in the beginning of the video, I said MK12 or something like that. MK2 is basically the lever. And for this one, you don't even want to completely deck it out. So this is going to be the biggest option for you guys, I believe. I personally didn't use this original FSS 18-inch factory. So I do recommend using this on bigger maps, the 18-inch factory, just because at longer distances, you're going to get a lot more hit markers. But for the purpose of this video, this is very aggressive close quarter gameplay. So that's the only reason why I didn't add it in this video. You don't have to touch anything on the top four. Of course, unless you want to change the barrel. But for the stock, you want to put the second option, the FFS MK2 Sport Combo. Basically, it's going to help you zoom in quicker. Again, perk, sleight of hand, use it. And rear grip tape, stippled grip tape for all of your snipers. Make sure to use that. It's just going to help a ton when it comes to aim down sight speed. And yeah, this gun, you probably have to add the least amount of things just because it's already so fast. But if you want to push up a little bit quicker, you know, the reload, I would say, is a little bit faster, I think. But uh, we'll see that in this following gameplay. Just look at this. Without perks... 0.18 zoom in speed, which is still fast, but with perks, 0.1 seconds. That's literally almost double the time zoom in speed. Although it doesn't affect it as much without attachments, this gun is a 1.3 seconds reload speed, and with attachments, it's going to be 1.11, which is still a 0.2 second differential, which I personally think is huge if you're pushing up a lot. And on that note, that is my video for the most aggressive sniping classes on Modern Warfare Day 1. You know, any of these could change with uh, patches in the future, but for Day 1, before the first big patch, definitely use these as I do think that it'll be beneficial for aggressive sniping. It's been your boy Remedy. If you guys want to watch some more content on my channel, make sure to subscribe, uh, hit that like button, drop a comment what you do think is the best sniper in the game, and I shall see you guys later. Peace.